Right. So the first thing we'll do, so we already have our kit open with sterile technique. I already have my sterile gloves on, but that would be the first thing that you do. You'd go ahead and grab the sterile gloves from the kit and place them on. The next thing that we'll do, we'll grab our fenestrated drape. So in males, we'll use this one, but we can set it to the side for a female. We'll go ahead and place this kind of right over this general direction. Now we'll go ahead and we'll grab our iodine. We're not going to actually use it given that this is our model, but just pretend that I'm kind of placing the iodine on the swabs. And then I would go ahead and make sure that I really get in and um, disinfect as best as I can. I would use all three swabs for that. Once that's done, I'll take my lubricant here. So what we like to do is we kind of pop off the cap like that and then take the um, packaging from the catheter, put the tip of the catheter within the lubricant just to protect it and also make sure it's well lubricated. Then we take our sterile water, attach it to our um, Foley balloon here. So now everything's ready to go. It makes things kind of quick and easy for you. Then you would just go ahead. So an important thing to note also before I place it is this is kind of a very normal anatomy. Um, we'll go through kind of troubleshooting tips if that's not the case for your patient, but some things you can do to improve the likelihood of getting it in. You can go ahead and inflate the bed if that's an option, or you can take a bedpan and place that underneath the hips of the patient to kind of increase visualization. Um, another thing that you can do, I'll place this down for one second, is you can take a speculum and with permission of the patient, you can place a speculum within the vagina and that also can help you find the urethra. Another thing you can do, again, with patient's permission is putting um, a finger within the vagina and then kind of finding the urethra by feel. Um, but let's just say we don't need to do those things. We take the tip of our catheter and then we'll go ahead Sometimes having a colleague help you kind of spread the labia is very helpful. Um, kind of the, the greater teamwork, the better. Then we go ahead, you really only need to place it a couple centimeters within. Wait until you see urine return. And then we would go ahead and inflate our balloon. Just like this. And then we would be good. Um, if we needed to take a urine sample, then we would go ahead and we could um, take our sticker, disconnect the sticker, um, pull that apart, and then get a sample directly into that cup. Thanks for watching. <laughs>